I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to the Delaware Way. We continue our conversation now with Representative Brian Short, who is a candidate for the lone seat in Congress from the state of Delaware. He would replace John Carney, who is running for governor. We talked. We started talking about foreign policy a little bit, and the governor's, uh, the president's response. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, the president's response to the crisis, the, to the terrorist attacks in Paris. Uh, and I asked you how you thought about his reaction. Uh, on the day of the attacks, he said that ISIS was contained. And he continued that even after the attacks. Yeah. Said that we're, we're going on the right policy, this is no time to panic. Many in his own party, including Dianne Feinstein, disagreed with him on that. Do you agree or disagree? I think the, the the acts in Paris indicate that you know there there is threat in the world from from ISIS beyond just beyond just the Middle East, and that um, that needs to be taken very seriously. Between Paris and the uh, the downing of the uh, Russian Russian airliner in in Egypt, um, you know we need to be very cognizant that that they are working on ways to reach outside of that Middle Eastern geographic region. I guess my question was, do you agree with the president that ISIS is contained? contained in terms of that we have control of them in the Middle East? If that's the question, no. I believe that, that they are in existence outside of the Middle East and, and will and obviously have taken steps to, uh, to impact our communities. So do you believe we need to do more than what we're doing right now? Do more here in the United States, do more in Europe, well, or both. do more that's in the Middle That's a good question, East. but I'm talking about ISIS specifically. And okay. so in the idea of taking the fight to ISIS and the fact yeah. that the president said they were contained, if they're not contained and you said that, the, that mm -hmm. you don't believe they may be, what should we be doing okay. more over there? So, so certainly within protecting our borders, we need to take every, every step that we can and use the intelligence and communicate with our allies on intelligence to protect our shores. With respect to uh, to the Middle East, um, leadership there needs to be a collaborative effort. You know, America will will play its part. We we always have, but I believe that you know NATO needs to be involved in this. The Arab League needs to be involved in this, and it needs to be a true coalition before the United States um, wades any further there. If there is a true coalition. And that coalition believes that ground troops are necessary to defeat ISIS. Are you willing to cast a vote to send men and women over there? I'd have to be convinced that there is a, an exit strategy there, that there is a real game plan to get in, to uh, control the region, as well as a real strategy around what happens when it's over. I mean, we're, we're still in Afghanistan. In many ways, we're still in Iraq. Um, that sort of real... Um, game plan and not just hey we take control but what do we do afterwards that needs to be uh, needs to be in place we're putting at that point as you describe it uh, American lives at risk and we need to be very honest about what that means we also need to be very honest about what it means to fight a battle when um, our, our opponents are surrounded by women and, and children civilians one last question sure. uh, uh, about uh, domestic policy. Uh, the, w on immigration, uh, do you believe that uh, illegal immigrants or undocumented workers, depending on where you are on the issue, yeah. um, should be allowed to stay here? And if so, do you believe in a path of citizenship for them? So back to me being pragmatic in how I go at things. I, I don't think that there is a realistic way for us to push those folks out of our country. And so what I prefer and would support is a realistic and organized um, uh, way for us to address the, the immigrant population that, that is here um, that's undocumented. Uh, your, one of your opponents, Brian Townsend, had, uh, was pushing through a bill that some people said was, uh, would have made Delaware a sanctuary yeah. state. Where, and he pulled it. Um, I don't know what the timing was on him running, but he pulled that yeah. bill, especially when it became controversial when Kate Steinle was killed yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah. What is your position? On I, that? I didn't support the, the legislation, and most of my colleagues, as I understood it, didn't support the legislation. Oh, and so that's, that might be why he pulled it, because it, it wasn't it, going to pass? I haven't spoken with Brian specifically about it. Since we brought up his name, many of the articles I read said that you two aren't different that much. They, did you agree on many of the issues? Mm -hmm. Is that fair? I, I think it's fair to say that the two folks that are strong Democrats, yes, they're going to agree on, on many of the issues. 
Is, is yeah. there a, a, a big difference you can tell me about? Yeah, I, I, I think the, the, the distinction, um, you know, re really has to do with, with looking at, at the, the track record and looking at somebody that has um, taken on challenges where there's been strong opposing points of view and being able to bring those those folks together and you know produce again something very real for Delaware that makes it a better place at the end of the day. I've been in office for, for, for eight years and there's a very real um, list of legislation where that's exactly happened. All right, sir, thank you so much for being here today. Representative Brian Short, who was a candidate on the Democratic side for the U.S. House of Representatives representing Delaware. We had Brian Townsend on the show, one of your opponents, and we have an offer out to Lisa Blunt Rochester to appear on the show. When we come back on the Delaware Way, adult vaccines, yes, adults need them too. We'll tell you which ones when the Delaware Way continues.